Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 80, Football Manager 19. We are playing with West Brom. It's our third club in this save. Just a reminder if you're just dropping in. Uh, Infield Town and Barnett were our earlier clubs. So we've been in kind of a bad run of form. Um, let's see, I believe, I believe we finished right here think uh so yeah we've got one win one draw and four defeats including being knocked out in the fa cup third round to hull city um i came back here because a couple of reasons full disclosure so i went out of town this week for work i had a couple of episodes that went up monday and wednesday uh, I bought some new games last weekend for my birthday some old games that i rebought uh, some Star Wars stuff. Uh, my birthday's on May the 4th, so they had a Star Wars sale. And I was able to pick up three games for under 10 bucks. And uh, so I was playing some of those. And then I had started a new save. <laughs> it never ends here sometimes. Uh, I think that's the wife coming home. Um... <laughs> uh and then i you know we we ended our green hell save started on a surviving mars save and uh so you know we've had some bad weather we've had some power outages we're supposed to get slammed with weather again tonight and all day tomorrow they're expecting up to nine inches of rain over the next day and a half we got six inches of rain yesterday so it's just been a little crazy. And so I was supposed to end up playing down to Southampton and just getting a good jump on the end of the season. I'm coming back now because I really need the episode more than anything else. Um, so we're going to come back for a double loss episode, Chelsea and Man City. <laughs> but I also picked this because I just finished the transfer window. So let's go through the scores. Uh, Hull City knocks us out of the FA Cup. Uh, Bosdag got sent off in the 22nd minute with a straight red card uh, and then was subsequently suspended for four games. Uh, they scored two late goals with us a man down. Uh, probably should have won that game if we would have been equal footing probably would have happened uh danny almost scored for us and then got sent off with uh, a second yellow uh we gave up a bunch of goals uh, including one being a man down which uh you know didn't really do anything because we were already down 2-1 after the penalty for alexander arnold then we got crushed by tottenham four to one tom t you're welcome uh sergio mecca all four goals matt ingram scored for us we just got dominated I think it was uh, imposing because we played in front of 77,000 fans. 3,000 of our fans showed up. Then we were able to beat Everton 3-2. Danny Olmo back from uh, uh, got a penalty. And Jan Lowe was really interesting. Uh, he's the young German kid that we signed, mainly to play an attacking left wing. And we haven't been playing that tactic very much. Um and he's not really good at a left wing midfielder. So he's like third option for striker right now behind uh, Bosdag. And I forget the other guy's name because he's been injured for so long. I forget, but uh, uh, drawing a blank right now. But anyway, he had uh, complained about, hey, you know, I really need some playing time. Give me a, you know, give me a chance. So I put him in here, gave him the start, and he scored two late goals to equalize and get the winner. So worked out. Then we played Wolves. Should have won. Kunpeng got sent off. Straight red card in the 22nd minute, and uh, they scored in the 15th. We were never able to mount a challenge. And that was one we let get away. And then Brighton equalized 1-1. They got an early goal, Oscar Melindo, right before the half. Uh, Olmo got hurt in this one. So anyway, we're back for Chelsea and Man City. Let's take a look at the transfers. 
Uh, let's see. These were canceled. Those guys you already know about coming in into the season. All right. First, let's look at the players that went out. So uh, let's see. We started off with Ramadan Sobi. Uh, he goes out for 21 million, potentially up to 27 million. Uh, we bought him for eight and a quarter, and he's played okay. He's played okay, but he, uh, you know, 18 matches last season, 16 matches this season, and only uh, you know eight starts, eight in reserve. And he was complaining about playing time, and I was just like, I don't see him getting starts here. So I ended up selling him for 21 million. Hopefully, we can get a little more for him. Uh, down to Bristol City in the uh, in the championship, they're challenging to come up, so they're spending some money to to try to move up. But uh, anyway, that frees up some money. We loaned out a couple of players. Cardiff picks up a player. Portsmouth picks up Chris Courtney on loan. Uh, Sean Brannigan goes to our affiliate in Coventry. Uh, then we sold Asalani. I really had wanted to play uh, Jan Lowe more. Uh, and there's Lowe right there, the one that we brought in at the beginning of the season. And he was just extra. We weren't really playing him a lot. Uh, so we sell him to Young Boys for $13.75 million. He's really good. He's young. I just don't have, you know, don't have the room for him. Uh, if we take a look at him for us, uh, three starts, four coming off the bench, one goal. So, you know, I just said, yeah, we can afford to move him. Uh, Camille Grabara. So after we signed our other keeper, Where's he at? Uh, Caputo. Uh, he was moved from our starter last season to reserves. And I said, you know what? This is an opportunity. We can move him, put one of our younger players in the backup role and, you know, and, and save some money. So we ended up selling him, uh, brought him in for 4.1, uh, sold him for 3.8, you know, uh, Started 14 mat or started 14 matches for us last two years ago, and then or last year and then this year, uh, four starts in the league allowed seven, so he wasn't really great for us. So you know it was a way to just cut some salary, and I was trying to be fiscally responsible here. Uh, and then Matthew Taggart, he's really good for us. We sold him for 15 and three quarter million, could go up to 19 and a half. He wasn't asking to leave, but he is 32. That's the big thing. I really like him, but he can only play the left side, and he's only uh, he was our he was our backup to our Chinese starter. So if we look at him, 19 games, he did start 16, but remember the Chinese guy was on international a lot, and their their time is really weird. But anyway, I, I I thought this was a chance to move his contract, save some money, and and put a chunk in the bank. So if we look at those guys, we've got 21, 34, 37, 38 and a half, 39, 54.25 million dollars, something like that. Now, who did we bring in? Well. We brought in this guy, Dan, Dan, Daniel Baldy from U.S. Catazaro for $2 million. Uh, he is a midfielder, left winger. That's where I'm probably going to play him. 20 years old. He's a little young, and uh, he's got pace. He's got solid physicals. And I just, you know, he looks overall pretty good, but he's 20, so he was young. This was a guy that I brought on that I thought we would be able to maybe sell down the road. Uh, now, if we can develop him with our, you know, he can start getting some caps, but he only got a under 23 work permit, so he can't play for the big club. The The goal here is to either loan him out uh, or, in fact, I need to uh, transfer status available for loan, confirm. Um, but I like his potential. We got him pretty cheap. And hopefully we can sell him for some money down the road. Uh, we'll save him for last. James Dunnett, we got him from Sheffield United. I had an offer to Celtic for a left back. Uh, 
a, a left and a right back. He could play both sides for $37 million. They accepted it, but they delayed it until they could find a replacement, which they never did. So the trade deadline, this was on, this was on deadline day. I was looking at this guy, and it fell through at the trade deadline. This was a guy I signed as a backup. He only cost us a million dollars. He can play left and right basically to replace Taggart. Uh, Taggett, except Taggett could only play the left. So he's got solid physicals, positioning, teamwork. He can actually play a little defense, and he can cross a little bit. So he is, you know, he's not great. He's not really even good for this level, but he is serviceable uh, if we have to play him due to match congestion, injury, what have you. So we signed him for a million bucks. Uh, he'll make 631000 a year, which is next to nothing. This is the guy we dropped a lot of money on. As I said, we did have that other back that we offered 37 to Celtic, but we went to FC Bayern and paid 32 million for this guy, Sebastian Strobel. He is a true defensive mid anchorman and Segundo Volante, which is the tactic that we play a lot of. Solid physicals, really great mentals, marking, tackling, or above average. First touch, dribbling, uh, everything is in there. Passing is at least manageable, and he's already got two two starts for us, uh, 6.7 rating. He's still getting uh, used to the tactic, though, I'm sure, after two matches. But, um, yeah, very happy to get this guy. So he was one we splashed some cash on. Uh, if we look at finances, we're up to $68 million. Uh, we're up to 121 in the bank. We made, we were in the hole, but after making profit last month, we're actually uh, in the in the in the uh, way in the in the uh, black for the season. Accounting terms, red and black. I forgot. Uh, and we were at about 88 million on on salaries when I at the at start of the trade window. We're down to 84, so that ought to help us with our monthly income as well, and really see us start to build our overall bank balance and be pretty profitable. And again, I'm only going for mid table right now, and you know I want two, you know two three years of that getting that big paycheck at the end of the season, you know, 60 something million dollars. And then, you know, then we can start splashing some more cash and, you know, working our way up in the, you know, fair financial fair play. Let's get into the match for today. Uh, Chelsea just dominates us. They've won 10, lost one, drawn two with us. Uh, we are underdogs, not huge, you know, four to one. Nice day. Uh, so I am going to see, I just don't know which way I want to go. I think we're, we're on the road. I'm going to go with this tactic. We're going to go with uh, Jan Lowe up top again, just to remind you about his tactic, uh, his skills. He's pretty good physically. He's got a lot of strength. He's six, two, uh, he plays one twos very well. Probably would do what much better with somebody at the number 10 to pl play the ball through to him. Uh, finishing's 13, dribbling's 14, first touch 15. Uh, heading is good. Jumping reach is okay. So I think he can uh, do the job for us up top uh, as a complete forward. So let's get into this. Uh, Caputo, we're going to bring Evans now off the bench as our reserve keeper. Bozdag is going to be back on the bench. And Chikwuma, that's the, that's the guy I couldn't remember his name. Um, he could go 45 minutes, um, but I'm going to I'm gonna let him get back up in better condition. Uh, I don't think he's quite ready yet. So let's get to the match today. Uh, James, there's our reserve fullback that we just signed. So he'll be on the bench for his debut today, possibly. Uh, he'll be behind Kunpang. We did try to, oh, you know what? Let me take him off. Uh, transfer status. Uh, first team. Confirm. Who's that? Oh, we got eight offers on him. Nice. Red Bull Salzburg. Oh, well. 
you know what, we're past the trade deadline, so we're gonna reject that. And then let's go back into him and can't do that yet. Oh well, that is fine. All right, dressing room. No pressure, we're expected to lose. We are in the yellow. Oh, nice interception by Jan Lowe. And he passes, oh, he wanted a margarita, so he gave him the ball. All right, Ingram. Ingram signed a new contract. Vernon. Nyambi, that was horrible. Ingram back into Vernon. Garcia. Over to Kunpang, who loses it. Oh, that's brutal. Nice tackle attempt. A slide tackle. Oh, oh my God. So a slide tackle pass, and then a perfect deflection right back to him. I would say that would never happen, but of course, you know, we saw two great comebacks in the second leg of the Champions League this week, right? All right, Melindo into the box. There it is. Andy Vernon puts it in the back of the net. Looks like Lowe had the assist. He did. All right. So we get an equalizer right back. Very nice. Set piece goal. We'll be happy with that. All right. Another set piece. That's scary. Arthur plays it across to Rossi. Oh, off the woodwork. Cleared out. I am very nervous. Uh, the championship playoffs start this weekend. Oh, brutal, brutal. Matthew Matthias Delict, Delict, first goal of the season. Shit. Two minutes after our goal. 5 12 14. All right, to Strobel, Nyambi, plays it up to Ingram. He brings it to the middle of the field, over to Melindo, up to Robinson, back to Melindo. Oh, he tries to play a through ball to Ingram. Over the top, King makes the run, one-on-one, -on -one. nice stop. Kunpang clears out the ball, good. Garcia, up to Vernon, out to Ingram. Nice pass. Oh, nice touch. Robinson, his first goal of the season. I think this might be his debut, huh? Maybe. I don't. I don't. I don't think he's a regular, is he? No, he's he's not a regular. He's on our U twenty three team. Very good. Hey. I didn't think I recognized him. Brilliant shot, though. We will definitely take that. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, hold, well, hold on. All right. Eight shots to six. Yeah, we're getting dominated in possession. So let's go here. No, you know what? I'm going to cancel. Yep. All right, let's stay with that. May change it at halftime. I mean, we're in the match, right? I'm going to praise the boys. All right, Jan Lowe's nervous. All right, 10 to 7. Possession. Possession's our big thing. We've lost in the central area of our own third. And that's with Strobel as our defensive mid. Hmm. Okay, so if I want to go to this tactic, then I want to bring in Bosdag here. Actually, you know what? Let me let me undo that. Melindo, Strobel, Vernon. 
All right, we're going to drop Melindo back to here. His marking is shit. All right, so I want him on the defensive side. He's a, t yeah, he's more attacking oriented, so let's go that way. We'll go there. And then Vernon. Yeah, we're gonna have, that's that's who we're gonna have to pull off here is Vernon for Bosdag. All right, then we'll go back to the pep talk. Excellent efforts. Play it calm. Stuart Coleman, play it calm. Start the second half. All right, there went the kickoff highlight, so that's good. All right, let's uh, encourage. Fired up. Okay, uh oh. Oof. Keeper did not even move for that ball. All right, uh, Nyambi. Wow. You are killing me. All right, I'm going to bring uh, Alvarez up for Nyambi. Let's do that. He was playing shit. Caputo hoofs it out. Robinson with the chest. Oh, they, oh, they were looking for it. Oh, come on, boys. Time wasting, time wasting. <laughs> botch it, botch it. I mean, it's Chelsea. They're not going to botch it against us. All right, out to Simmons. Nice one touch. Oh, nice slide by Alvarez. Good play. Oh, no. How was that a penalty? I thought he had all the ball because it went out of play straight. Oh, that's brutal. A save. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, I thought that was in. All right, head it out. Push out, boys. Push out. Oh, come on. All right, I am going to go. I'm going to bump that up a little bit. Let's go right there. I'm going to bring these guys to support. We'll let them do overlaps. All right. Is anybody playing horrible? Kunpang's not playing well. Jesus. I mean, yeah, screw it. Let's put him in. We'll give him his debut. James done it. On for his debut. I mean, Kunpang's playing a 6 2. Can't be much worse, right? All right, they send that high. All right, I'm going to give him some praise. Damn. All right, a header. Full time. We'll take that. 2-2 two -two draw. I will definitely take that because we, we, we got dominated, I think. So we FM'd him a little bit. But, yeah, we'll, we'll praise him. We'll take the point. Nothing wrong with that. Chelsea Robin, Robinson makes his debut. James Dunnett made his debut. Robinson on fire in fuego. Player of the match. Goal. All right, dude. Good job. All right. Well, we'll be back for the next match, Man City, here in just a moment. It's game day. We are back for Man City. Chikwuma is back in physical condition. Match sharpness, not quite so much. But uh, you can see we are serious underdogs. There is hail. 
Uh, no wind, thank goodness, but we're going to have to park the bus probably. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop these guys to support. And then in transition, in possession. Uh, work the ball, early crosses. Okay, yeah, we don't have that really because... That's fine. Oh, you know what? Yeah, boom. I want to do that. Let's do that. I don't want the offsides trap. I want to get stuck in. There we go. Let's let's go that route. I'm thinking that might work better. Uh, let's see. Boom. And let's go there. Let's go ahead and pick our team. Right, we do have a couple of guys. All right, Nyambi. I'm going to start Alvarez today. Garcia, Coleman. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to do there. Kunpeng, I'm not real happy with, but we don't really have... Don't really have another option there. Uh, Hopton, who is that? 20-year-old Norwegian. Yeah, he's only played a handful of matches. Is Robinson not in condition... I'm going to go ahead and start Robinson again. He did really well last game. We'll give him another start. Strobel, Lowe, Ingram. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start Lowe. We'll bring Chick Wuma in because fitness. He can only play about 45 minutes. So we'll bring him on in the second half. Probably. Probably. Unless I need players at other positions. All right, no real pressure. Let's try to give him some, some praiseage. All right, Man City, not a fan. Don't have anything against them. Honestly, most premier clubs I don't have anything against. I just don't follow any of them. And even though I'm a Leeds fan, and they, you know, we're supposed to be bitter rivals with Man United. Being an American, it's like, oh, Sinclair on the break. Oh, nice ball. Low. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, we could have got off to a blazing start. Um, you know, just the fact that we have not, you know, that that I'm not exposed directly to, you know, any vitriol. Oh, that was a nice shot, too. Oh, we're hitting the woodwork. We're doing some serious pingage here. Oh, stolen away. Benoit on the counter. Plays it ahead. Garcia loses his man. Wide of the goal. Good job. Good job, boys. So, yeah, I just don't really have anything one way or another for any of the premier sides. All right, head it out. I wish they would, like, pass it out. Oof. That was dangerous. All right, let's tighten up a little bit. We're actually playing pretty well. They've got us on shots. But we're in there possession-wise. We have none of our six on target. That's That's disappointing. Four off target, three long shots. Mark Ingram. All right, let's go to the dressing room. 
All right, low is at a 6.3. Robinson. I think we're okay. I think we're okay with what we're doing. Excellent effort so far. I don't want to bring low off just yet because 45 minutes is the max that our other strike Chikwuma can play. And I want to, you know, oh, fuck. That's been an all season thing, kicking it into the back of a player. So that was a nice get back by our center back. That was a good job. All right, I'm going to praise him. I don't know. Overwhelmed? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, let's make a sub here. All right, you're still playing a 6-3. Chikwuma, you go ahead and come on. Uh, Strobel is knackered. Um, so hold on. So I'm going to have to bring somebody else back to him. So who do I want to come up? Mid-left. I could bring you there, but you're, that's the only place you can play. Perry. I don't even know who you are. A 19-year-old. Uh, marking, tackling. You're actually not bad. I mean, you could play. You could probably do a job. He's playing a 6-9, though, so I'm okay there. Besides, I am looking for wing back, mid-right, attacking mid-right. So who else can play defensive mid? Anybody? Well, my all four of my backline players can. Oh, Sinclair. So do I have anybody that can play mid-center? Not really, huh? What about, that's more of an attacking role. Wow, that sucks. So Andy Vernon, Sinclair. Marking, passing, tackling. All right, I'm going to bring Sinclair back for Strobel. Defensive left. Ah. Damn it. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Hold on, hold on. No, because nobody else could... Undo, undo. All right, Strobel to the right back. All right, Alvarez go up, and then we'll bring Niambi on. Niambi, yep. All right, sorry about that. I was just, you know, I had to think it through, man. Encourage. Fired up. Fired up. 17 to 8. All right. Shit. Mid right. Brendan Taylor. <sighs> Come on, boys. All right, we're going to take another draw. I'm I'm tickled to death. We got two points out of this series today, and I didn't think we were going to get anything. Two on target. That's disturbing. Uh, dressing room. How did uh, Chikwuma play? 6-4, but, you know, he's at 63%. It's going to take a little bit of time for him to get to match fitness. Uh, but still, they played very well. They didn't get run over by, by Man City. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. 
I am happy with that. So again, I'm really sorry that we missed Friday's episode. Um, you know, I, I'm recording this on Friday and I just won't be able to render it and get it up tonight. So sorry about that. But this will go up on Monday. Uh, we'll miss one, one game. Uh, and then I will need to get another game in. So I'll probably be able to get through here. Let's come back. Uh, do I want to do that? Really? Uh, Lester. Lester's 14th. Man, 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 you know, I'd rather come back for this one, but Crystal Palace. Let's come back for Man United and Crystal Palace. At least that gets us another handful of games, and we'll do that, and then probably Huddersfield, Aston Villa, and then we'll be done with the season. Um, that'll be the game plan. Of course, everything's subject to change with my work schedule and how much playtime I actually get. But I do appreciate you guys continuing to check out the series, uh, stopping by my channel and supporting it. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, pound the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we will catch you next time. Oh, by the way, thank you very much. Uh, we are up to 400 subscribers. Uh, I just want to thank all of you. That's uh, that's. You know, that's a number I honestly, you know, never thought I'd get to. So I'm very happy. So thank you very much. Catch you guys next episode. Bye.